Jesus appears to the disciples. After the strange occurrences at the tomb, when the women had reported that Jesus was raised and Peter and John had raced to the tomb to find the body of Jesus missing, the disciples now came together. Our story is taken from John chapter 20 verses 19 to 31. On the evening of the first day of the week, the disciples had gathered together and locked the doors of the place because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Then Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. Just as the Father has sent me, I also send you. After he said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. If you retain anyone's sins, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve disciples, was not with them. And the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord, he replied, unless I see the wounds from the nails of his hands and put my hand into his side, I will never believe it. Eight days later, the disciples were together in the house and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and examine my hands. Extend your hand and put it into my side. Do not continue in your unbelief, but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, you believed because you have seen me. Blessed are the people who have not seen me and yet have believed. Now Jesus did many other miraculous signs which are not recorded in this book, but these are recorded so that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name.